Hey everyone, I'm Mike Lowe, and in this video I'm going to be going over how to access and I guess utilize the QKL underscore FE2IG file, which is the file that you need from your PlayStation 3 in order to edit certain things, say like team playbooks on the AST editor, which is what you'd be doing on your PC. So we're going to go over all of that and just kind of show you one of the trickier tools to get used to, but once you get used to it, it's pretty easy. Okay, so this video won't be going over things like enabling HEN or getting multi-man set up and running. Those are ready to go here already and what you're seeing on the screen. I am on my PS3, but I would think that this is a pretty similar setup to um, other systems, but I, I can't attest to that for sure. Uh, but nonetheless, we do have HEN running, or enabled, I should say, and we do have multi-man running. And what you want to do, you can see on the bottom right there, there's a options and a game options. They are a little bit different. We want to go into options, which is the triangle button on PS3. And that brings this up. And then all we want to do is go down to the file manager or the operating system for multi-man. And then this is just kind of like a different browser. It almost looks like a, like a PC browser, right? But this is still on the PlayStation 3. And these over here are more or less shortcuts. They just open up windows like this, right? So if I wanted to just to kind of show you from the start, it's first off, if you want to get back to where we just were, you can double click with the X button and that will bring you back right here. So I'm going to hit triangle. We're going to go back. And so again, that's the, that window is, and this of course brings up the game window. Um, but if you needed to get into say like multi-man files or anything like that, uh, you can click this with the X button. You can move it around with your left uh, left stick there and get into any of these other things. But for this activity, I'm pretty sure we're not gonna need that. Um, and then the PS3 root, same thing. It's just kind of taking you to the root of your PS3. Uh, so you're gonna have your internal hard drive. You're going to have say like a USB drive. If you have one plugged in, which is what you're gonna probably wanna do here to get these files copied from your PlayStation over to your PC to load it into the AST editor. So let me show you what we do. Again, going from complete scratch here, we hit the triangle button to get us into this uh, operating system. And I'm gonna double click on game using the X button. And again, options, file manager, OS, and then that will pop up this window here, right? So you can move this around, whatever you wanna do. And what you need to do as far as the, the playbooks are concerned, or maybe other uses for this too, is you're gonna just double click with the X button, PS3 game, and then you're gonna go down to the user directory here, double click that. And then this is the file that you want. It's this FE2IG file, right? So I'm gonna hit X to highlight it. And now I'm going to hit O on the controller. And this brings up some options. So I can cut, rename, and so on. What we wanna do, because we're moving it, we don't wanna cut it, you don't wanna remove it. Um, at least if you're gonna be playing the game here uh, before fixing everything you wanna just hit copy, right? And so you can see there up top right, it's been copied to our clipboard, but like, where is that? Where's the clipboard at? It, it doesn't really matter. It's just in your clipboard. That's all you really need to know. So I'm gonna close this now, and I'm gonna go up to PS3 root, and I wanna bring this to my USB drive because I want to eventually be able to, uh, you know, get it into my PC to do the editing and whatnot. So again, backing up here, I highlight it with X, I double click it with X, that gets me into the folder. And then you can really paste this wherever you want. Um, you could put it right here in the actual um, you know, factory. I like to keep kind of a backup folder. So let's just say you wanted to put it into a folder like this or whatever. Now what I'm gonna do, same thing. I'm gonna hit the O button. And now I have a paste option. And I'm not gonna do it here because it takes a long time and I don't even know if I can like cancel it. Um, it's a pretty big file, right? So it's gonna take a while, it's over three gigabyte. Uh, but you would paste that there and then you just wait. And then uh, when you're done with that, let's just say the file finishes, you can pretty much close all this out. Um, and then you can just really just get back to your, to your menu. You can remove your USB drive. And now you're ready to go on the PC side. So let's head over there and see what we do now with that file. Okay, so here we are and we are back now on the PC. And I mentioned in some other videos that I like to just keep my folders organized here. Uh, you can also see that I have my USB drive plugged in to the PC and what I've already done is I've already copied over that file we just got from the PS3 over to uh, one of my folders here that I actually use in the preseason because this is when I load in the playbooks, right? So the AST editor is what you need and that's right here. If you've already downloaded that, again, that's gonna be a different video. You might wanna just Google search that, but you can see I've copied over this FE2IG file that we need. I immediately then create a backup of this file and of course just add the tag backup to the end of the name um, you know, again, you can keep whatever ones you'd want in here, uh, but I, this is the one you'd want to be editing here. But again, I definitely recommend creating a backup. And so then all you do is you open up the AST editor and you're going to open up that 
AST file, right? And so we're gonna use this one or whatever one you wanna use. And you hit open, and then that's going to load us in here to that particular file so that you can go in and edit the different playbooks. Okay, so now that has loaded, you can see here it's loaded in a database that looks like this. And don't be confused or intimidated by these numbers. All you really need to look for here is this number column. And then I'm going back to my folder because Noob, who's created all these playbooks, which I just keep in a playbook folder inside of my AST editor slash, you know, one preseason folder. And then one, the numbers are just to kind of keep them in order. Um, but however you want to do it, but I have them all in a playbook folder. And he has been really, really helpful in numbering these files for us. So let's just say you want to go in and put Alabama's playbook. They are number 772 in this database. And so you would scroll down to the number 772. So you just highlight that row and you're going to right click and click on replace selected. And then you guessed it, you're going to go into the playbook area. You're going to find 772. And if you really wanted to triple check, you could just make sure that you're grabbing the right number. 772 here, 772 there, and you're gonna hit open. And then there you go. That one is now loaded into your AST file. Once you're done, whether it's one playbook or 120 or whatever you wanna do, you're gonna save that file. I'm not gonna do it here, um, but you're gonna hit save as, and then it'll ask you if you wanna save it or, or override it or anything like that. And then you're good to go. And then of course, all you would need to do then is go back to that file you just saved copy it or cut it cut and paste it to your PlayStation USB and then go back to the PlayStation and then we will reconvene. All right, so we're back at the PlayStation 3. We have our USB drive plugged into the PlayStation 3. And just like earlier, I'm gonna hit triangle and go down to file manager. And then from here, we wanna to get to our USB drive first. So I'm gonna to go to this shortcut here, which is the PS3 root. And again, that's where you can, you can see your hard drive, uh, which is where you have your game installed and so on. Um, but in this case, we just want to go to USB. Um, it's it's probably called something similar, but again, the idea is that it'll say USB or, or whatever you've renamed it to. And from here, wherever you saved it, I just threw it into that backup folder temporarily as a test here. I'm going to navigate to that. I'm going to hit X, and then I'm going to hit O, just like we did. I'm going to hit Copy, and again, that goes up to the clipboard. It just kind of holds it there. And then what we need to do now is get into our actual game file. Um, and so again, you can do this um, by going through and navigating back to the uh, kind of the start of the multi-man menu if you want, or we already have it open here. So we're just going to go into it there, right back to that same user ID folder. And in this case, we're going to highlight the existing one. And again, I'll reiterate, make sure you have a backup of this before you paste over it. I have those on my, on my PC. And then after I highlight it by hitting X, I'm going to hit O. And in this case, we're going to paste it now back to the system from the USB drive, or I guess from the clipboard, technically. I'm not gonna do that here, uh, but that's what you do. It's gonna take a few minutes. Um, it might take 10 or even 15 minutes or so, that's normal. It's a pretty big file, as you can see, and on uh, the PlayStation is not you know crazy fast with copying some of that stuff over, or more importantly, um, copying it from your flash drive is really what's slowing it down mostly. So, um, but that's it, after that it should go. Um, if you run into some errors, guys, I can tell you, like you might have some game freezing and that sort of thing. I can almost guarantee you it's because one of the playbook files may just have an error in it or something like that. It could also be other utilities that you're using. So be really slow and, and kind of um, intentional in the tools that you're using, especially if you're like getting errors, you're getting lag or freezes. The more you tinker with, the harder it's gonna be to kind of undo that and figure out what's causing it. So um, go slow, especially in the beginning with this, but that's essentially how you can get these FE2IG files in, off the PlayStation 3 onto your PC so you can use the AST editor. And then of course, back to your PlayStation 3, keep backups as I've mentioned a few times now, but that's, that's really it. Hopefully that made a lot of sense for you. And uh, if not, leave a comment and let me know. I'm Mike Lowe. Thanks for liking the video. Thanks for subscribing if you don't mind. And I will talk to you next time.